Hey, what's going on guys? So Chawa T here with a new video and today's video is going to be a fishing slash cooking guide on how to make some extra gold on the side. Whether you're still doing the gloom dust farm, the tight spray linen farm, you feel like you just want to sit back, relax and just make some passive gold, which in the end still goes for a lot. So here I am at the top of Morales because uh, I was recently doing the Great Sea Catfish uh, quest line or quest line that request, required about 30 of them. So found that this was the closest and easiest place. So basically what you are going to be uh, fishing for, let me close all these because this that's just embarrassing. Look at all that. Okay, what you're going to be fishing here for, once you get your fishing level a little bit higher, you'll pretty much ignore all the trash when it comes to fishing. So what you're going to be looking for here is, like I said, the Great Sea Catfish. But your main money maker is going to be the Tear Guard Perch. So let's see. Uh, let me go ahead and actually uh, fish right here real quick. And uh, there's going to be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show the prices right here on the screen for the Great Sea Catfish and the Tear Guard Perch. Uh, Gracie Catfish is not going for too much, but if you combine it with cooking, um, or if you combine it with cooking, you cook it, it, you, it becomes the great grilled catfish, which is literally a level one cooking but from the cooking trainer right there in Morales. Um, level one, you don't need to do anything to be able to get it. Um, but the more you do it, people are buying the grilled catfish no matter what because it does do a lot more, a lot of healing and mana regen quicker and faster than you would with just like a mage table it, it it regenerates a lot faster but as you guys can see here the minimum buyout in my server Turalian is 59 gold market value 60 gold uh the region average market value is 24 gold and you can fish this over and over again guys like you don't have to do anything with it literally if you want if you're still using it for fish oil for other recipes go for it but i would suggest just farming it up for uh for gold as you can see two are already there um but yeah the, the fishing trainer, if you guys did not know, is up here at the top of Relis, right when you come up the stairs right behind me. He's going to be right here. He, sometimes he's glitched and underneath the bridge, but it's really easy, guys. If just let's sit back, put some Netflix on your second monitor, and just chill and just farm up uh, free gold, man. Um, but be sure, uh, if you do get these Midnight Salmon, they do say it goes for 64 gold. But at any one time, there's so many in the auction house. I've posted so many of these, and they almost never sell. So even if you get these, they are really good, but I would suggest using them as well. Like, don't just look for the gold value because it does teleport you to the nearest fishing node in Cold Tears and Zandalar, which uh, it just makes uh, farming schools so much easier. Um, but yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Uh, if you did enjoy, please leave a like. Also, if you're new enjoying the video, please do subscribe. Do subscribe. Leave a comment, guys, whether you liked it, whether you disliked it. Let me know in the comments below or leave it in the likes and dislikes. I want to know you guys' honest opinion of how it's going so far. But yeah, guys, have a good one and good luck fishing. Peace.